We all know taking someone's life is wrong, but are there circumstances where doing it to protect others makes it okay? Is killing wrong enough to warrant death? This first episode of Kino's Journey asks a lot of those questions while also playing with your perceptions of these types of people. While driving towards her next country, Kino and Hermes come across another traveler taking a break by the pond. Being friendly, they stop to talk about the upcoming country. A man who I'll call Ian tells us about the unique laws of this country. Killing is perfectly legal. There is no legislation against the act of murder. This puts an idea in our heads that we're about to enter one of the more dangerous countries in the show. Ian even states that the entire reason he's moving there is to kill freely alongside his childhood icon, a serial killer named Raggle. This idea is reinforced when the gatekeeper questions Kino's choice to enter the country as no one, citizen or traveler, is safe from their laws or lack thereof. The gate opens revealing an orderly society. There aren't bandits running the streets with packs of hellhounds by their sides. Everything is just normal. What a strange country. Hmm? Seems pretty normal to me. Yeah, it does seem normal. With how relatively peaceful and uneventful this country seems, we start to lower our guard. Kino and Hermes go out for a quiet drive, exploring what's within the walls. Taking in the beautiful scenery, Kino's journey walks us through, dispelling our previous ideas and conceptions Ian gave us about this country. When we finally feel at home in this new place, a kind shopkeeper reveals the darker themes we suspected of this country. No, I've never had a robber in my store. That there is what I use to kill people. Does it get used often? That is the question, isn't it? You never know when until it's time. That's why I keep it near. Okay, so what now? Your mind starts racing to figure out what could happen. Who are these people? How are they so open about murder but also live such happy and safe lives? A cult. They have to be in a cult to act this friendly to hide their true motives. But once again, we're forced to put our thoughts aside as Kino, someone we've watched practice her self-defense skills and paranoia or cautiousness every day, is relaxing with her eyes closed after a meal. Once again, we feel safe here, but that doesn't make any sense. A group of elderly citizens meet Kino as they sit down for lunch. Just as friendly as the others, they ask her about her travels and offer some dessert tomorrow before Kino and Hermes head out. During this next meal, the kind old man asks Kino and Hermes if they're ever going to settle down in a country, and if so, why not this one? I think a person like you would fit in well. A person like what? A person who is able and willing to kill. Kino rejects, but thanks him for the company. Before leaving, Ian shows up demanding her to surrender her belongings before he kills her. Ian is now a citizen and ready to start his new life. With his preconceived notions about the new place he calls his home, Ian is desperate for murder. No thank you. You get it? If you turn me down, I'll fill you with holes and take it after. The surrounding people walk away as if nothing was really happening and these three just need their privacy. The cult idea starts coming back to us. Ian gets ready to shoot Kino just as an arrow strikes him through his arm. The villagers come back outside, every one of them with a weapon. They slowly walk towards Ian, telling him what he's doing wrong. The only reason he bothered to come to this country was to kill as many people as he wants, just like Regal did, and he doesn't understand why these people, to him, suddenly don't agree. As he sits on the ground bloodied, Ian asks what the hell is going on. This country was supposed to be a safe haven. He believed this place understood him and his beliefs. No laws means murder is allowed, doesn't it? The old gentleman Kino is so comfortable around introduces himself and kills Ian. <laughs> Screw you! Who do you think you are? Who am I? Oh, no one special, that's for sure. Just an average citizen. A nice old man who goes by the name of Rago. Sorry to do this, 
But you see, you're dangerous. After all of that, the remaining perception is that the entire country is one massive cult of murderers who justify what they do as defending the people for the sake of themselves and their group. But one line sighed out in sadness from the back of the group says it's never easy killing another. These are just ordinary people. They just want to protect their friends and their family. Murder is completely forbidden by the people, but accepted by law so that they can enforce it better than the government can. No wrong with it! I don't Damn know it. where you come from, but in this land, the country I call my home, murder is not permitted, nor is its attempt allowed to go without punishment. Shut your lying mouth! The whole reason I came to this piece of shit place is because I heard that murder's legal here! You're right about that much. It's no crime. In the end, this country isn't hiding anything. They're the most open and honest in Kino's journey, and surprisingly, they're also the safest. Kino meets another traveler while exiting the country who asks if this is a safe place. He is most likely from the Colosseum country and never wants to kill another person again. For someone like him who just wants to live in peace, this country is perfect, but for someone as twisted as Ian, well, it's as bad as hell. Some people see a cult of dangerous mindsets, and some see a community built on safety and protection. Thanks for watching this series into my favorite anime. Check your screen for the Kino's Journey playlist and a video YouTube seems to think you'll dork out over. Or check the description for anything else you need. Well, peace weebs.